some exciting news it to is, share now. It. NASA has made an amazing discovery in outer space. They have found seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a dwarf star near our solar system. Scientists say it's the closest they've come to locating another planet in the universe that's capable of sustaining life. Three of these planets, marked in green, are in the habitable zone where liquid water can pool on the surface. In fact, with the right atmospheric conditions, there could be water on any of these uh, planets. The discovery gives us a hint that finding a second Earth is not just a matter of if, but when. Mike Massimino is a former NASA astronaut and author of the book Spaceman, an astronaut's unlikely journey to unlock the secrets of the universe, and he is here with us now. So, Mike, how close are these planets, really? Uh, to us? To yes, because uh, we want to study them, right? Well, yes, yeah, we see, like, the neighborhood's kind of big. Right? <laughs> so these things, I think, are like 40 light years away, which means traveling at the speed of light, it would still take you 40, 40 years, years to, to get, get there. there. Uh. But traveling at the speed of light is, like, really, really fast. Uh, so, like, we can go to the moon in about a second and a half at the speed of light, so it, it gives you an idea of how, of, how, of how far away it really is. So traveling under our conventional methods of travel, even space travel, right. it's really unreachable right now. But we can send a radio wave there, and we certainly can study it. And I think it's very, very exciting because even though it's far, in those terms it's far away, it's closer compared to the other stuff around us in the universe. So um, it's not around the corner. It's, probably, it's not a place we can actually physically go to now. But certainly it's, it's a very exciting discovery because we've wondered if there's another place out there that could have life on it. Is there another option to a planet like Earth somewhere? And there's billions, literally billions of possibilities. And now we have the technology to be able to hone in on a few of these and, and study them a little bit closer. They, they've identified them, and now they're going to study them closer and see what they're really made of. Well, I think that's the point you just made, is everyone wants to know, are there aliens out there? Is yes. Are there life? <laughs> so do we know anything about the terrain or the atmosphere? Do we think it could sustain some type of life? Do they we have friends out there? We, well, okay, so there's a couple different questions there. One is about, about these particular planets. They're pretty sure that they're rocky planets. So if you look at, like, we're a rocky planet. You right. can walk around, yep. right? All right. So if you look at a big planet like we have in our solar system, like Jupiter, it's more of a gaseous planet. Right. You can't really hang out. Kind of nasty. So you're kind of like, ah, oh, that's not a good place for us. So right. when you see a rocky planet, you say, okay, this is a possibility. Then you look at how far away it is from the sun and how, how hot their sun is. Now, this sun is a little bit older than our sun, so it's not as hot. And these planets are actually closer to that sun than Mercury. There's a, they're oh. kind of close together. But because it's a cooler sun, there's the, it's the right temperature, so water could be there. So we're, what we're looking for, it's kind of interesting, we're looking for stuff that we recognize. Okay, right? we're not it looks like what we have here. <laughs> right, exactly. There may be stuff out there we don't recognize. That there's plenty of possible, but, right, but that's too hard to imagine, right? So <laughs> right now we're just trying to engage the problem and say, let's look for stuff that we would recognize. Let's look for a planet that's rocky, that's far enough away from the sun, that from that sun that maybe could have water on it, and that's what they see here. So the next step is to see if they could find out what, what it's really made of. Is, is there water there? That would be the next big step. But as far as, like, aliens, you know, we're still along. It's just these places that we're so far away from everybody else. I don't think we've ever been visited. There's no real evidence that that's happened. But I do think that there are possibilities for life other places. We just have to find each this other. This makes really good storylines. If we, if well, this is really exciting. Very good movies and very good storylines. We're going to story be able to talk about something other than politics on the news yeah, if we right. were able to, which you're probably going to get to right after this. But if we could discover <laughs> life somewhere else, it could really save, the, save us on the news cycle, if nothing else. So th these are exoplanets, which it, when I first heard it, I'm like, I know what that is. No, wait, do I know what that is? So these are planets that orbit a star other than our. Correct, we that's do. right. Yeah. Right, so, they're another solar system. Right, yes. so have we found planets like this before? Is this the first time we've found uh, I, maybe I think this many? They've found, yeah, they've, they've had. Other um, uh, other targets that they found that they thought could be these these types of these uh, other solar systems. Yeah, but this is the first one I think they have the the real evidence to say yeah no kidding this looks like a place that that is is Earth like and we're sh we're pretty sure it is and we're going to investigate a little bit further and it's not relatively speaking it's not that far away so I think that's what makes this so exciting plus there's a bunch of them together there are seven of them and they think at least four of them are pretty good candidates to be Earth-like. Not necessarily that they have life on them or they even have water, but they could be Earth-like. So I think it's the, it's the, the amount of them, the proximity, uh, and they, they've gotten enough evidence now that's, that's better than what they've gotten before. Also the size of them. I mean, usually in the past, they've been really gigantic planets. Right. And now we're getting down to the planets that are more like the size of Earth because we're able to see better. You just think of you know, optics on a camera, you can, you know, you, or you're trying to see something through a telescope or uh, anything. 
you know, you can see something that's really big, right? Because it's big, but really what you're more interested in maybe is more of the smaller stuff, more like us. And that's, can, what, that's what these are. Before we let you go, can I just, is, does Pluto get to be a planet again? Very quickly. <laughs> you know, really I'm an old, really I'm an old guy. It. I learned, you know, we learned, all, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're we're, you're young ladies, but you probably still learned all those little uh, yeah, songs Pluto and stuff. Exactly. Pluto was in it, so Pluto's in it for for me. For life. And all people right. want to downgrade it. A lot of that stuff is arbitrary. We can talk about that another time. Well, That's I'm a glad lot we of that up. Who's a planet? Who's not? It's somewhat arbitrary. I I, I have to At say this that Pluto is. Pluto is a planet. <laughs> we, yeah, okay. I voted. It had an election, and I voted. <laughs> there was some election. Someone got me to vote on it. I Mike, voted as a planet. Mike Massimino, thank you. Thanks you, for having me. You really have broken this down in the most simple way possible. Which is Appreciate well, thanks. Which is appreciated. I, well, I, I'll take that as a compliment. It is. But I'm it's glad. I'm glad you have an interest, and I think this is going to generate some interest. Uh, I don't think it's just so. us having an interest. The no, internet I is think going so. crazy. I think they it. should. It's a, it's a it's a good diversion for us, if nothing else. <laughs> and uh, it's very exciting stuff. It it, it really is. And, and the possibilities, if this could lead to something more, that that's great. But just just finding out where we are, understanding. You know where we got. Is, we've answered. I'm sorry, I'm taking up too much time. But we've answered <laughs> a lot of questions, right? Yes. You know, we know a lot of things. We know how how we live on this earth. We're trying to understand how to keep it healthy, but we still don't know how, really how we got here. We really don't know where we go afterwards. We don't know if we're alone in the universe. And there are only some things. Those answers to those questions. I don't think we can find here. We have to look outward for those. And that's and what we're doing. And this do is that. one of them. And yeah. I think we're just at the beginning. So there's a lot of excitement to come, hopefully. I I love your enthusiasm. Yeah. Mike Massimino, thanks, thanks so much. much. Thanks, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right.